Hi everybody, Smart the Flick and Feathers again today, and I'm tying another bonefish fly for you. This is Owl's Glass Minnow. It's a small little fly, um, maybe slightly unusual in its colour scheme, but worth tying a few up for certain locations anyway. So the hook I'm using here today is a TMCO 811S, although it's probably not the hook I would usually use for bonefish flies, but it's just what I have and the size at the moment and it's a size 8, right, so it's small I've got to run on some 6 white anvils let's coat the shank then we'll come back to the eye position and figure it in a pair of extra small Bead chain. Um, you can also tie this fly with nylon barbells if you're uh, want a really lightweight fly. So tail, I'm just using some silver, silvery tin. So it doesn't really matter what you use. This is a uh, sparkle here from Sibai. But as I say, anything, anything will do. So I'll tie that in at the bend. Trim my waist length of the body. Tidy everything up. And I'll trim that, oh, but shy of a hook length, right, have a wee bit long that, take a, take a wee bit more, that's better. And I'll set, just set this uh, waist aside, just moisten it and set it in my lap, won't go anywhere. Tie in a short length of uh, D rib nymph uh, size for this small fly. You can tie this the length of the body. And you can stretch it as you go back to. Keep the body kind of smooth and the, you don't want it too bulky. Catch in another length of, of the waist of the flash that I use for the tail. Again, cutting the waist piece to the, the length of the body to keep everything nice and even. And then we to wind this forward. Creating a nice shiny silver underbody. I'll figure eight it through the eyes. Tie it off. And trim it away. Put a wee half hitch in here. So I don't in case I bump it free when I'm winding this D rib. Which is then got to be, I'm going to wind this forward and I'm going to stretch it, I'm going to put it under a fair amount of tension to keep it slim. I'm going forward and touch and turns, covering up that tinsel, protecting it. Then I'm going to come through over the bead chain eyes. Three wraps, a wrap in front. Tie over that there, nice and secure. Another wee half hitch just for security, and then I'll pull this tight, trim it close, and there's just enough stretch that it'll pull back in to your thread and give you a nice clean finish. So, for the wing, it's just craft fur or fish hair or something, doesn't really matter which. 
keep it sparse. The underwing is blue. And I'll tie it so that that just comes to the about the back of the flash there. Pinch and loop that in. Three wraps will hold it. Then the top is white. Normally you would, when tying like bait fish, you would put the the darker colour on top, but this is Al's pattern. I'm just showing you the the pattern as tied, you know, um, the original as tied. It's just the same material, just white, but the same amount. Can pinch and loop that in there. Make sure it's on top and not next to the blue. Trim away my waist. Now because the tie in's really short, um whip in the eight, you've got a really small nose. I just like to touch it with some super glue. Touch those buttons with some super glue and wind over them. It gives you a nice, neat head, and the thread sticks to the craft fur as well. As always, two whip finishes. I'll just sweep the Sweep the wing fibres back to help keep them out of the way of the head cement. And there you have it, that's Al Cucci's glass minnow. Uh, worth sticking in your box because some I mean, bonefish eat more than shrimps. If there are small bait fish around, they will eat them and they can key on them, so it's, it's worth having some flies like this, if not necessarily this one in your box. So um, I hope that was useful, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please uh, give me a thumbs up below and remember to subscribe to the channel. Hey, lines guys, bye.